Great spring arrival from California. These oh yeah, <coughs> another <laughs> and another great spring arrival out of California this time of year is the famed heirloom artichoke. Welcome back to Baldor's News from the Farm. I'm Patrick Ahern, and this is the St. Patrick's Day edition of Baldor's News from the Farm. Over on the West Coast, in fact, everywhere around the country, the weather hasn't really been playing into our hands. Mexico, the poor weather down there has damaged the mango crop. Florida, they're still struggling with the tomatoes, especially cherry tomatoes. And cauliflower and broccoli, which was very, very cheap a couple of weeks ago, is now beginning to trend back up. But it's not all bad. We're on the cusp of spring. We've got lots of spring items for you today. We're going to start off with this wonderful asparagus crop out of California. That's right, grown in the USA. We're going to start off with a pencil, which as you know, an asparagus plant when you first harvest. The asparagus is quite small. This is kind of a, a grassy, not much of a deep asparagus flavor. Then moving along to the standard and the large as the crop develops year over year, the centerpieces get bigger and it sends off these shoots under which grow for, again, you get the pencil. And then finally, you get the jumbo. And like everything in life, size does matter. The jumbo asparagus is a much more intense asparagus flavor versus all the others. It's full of juice. It takes a little longer to cook. You do need to peel a little bit off the bottom, but it's really well worth the effort. Another great spring arrival out of California this time of year is the famed heirloom artichoke. It's the red label ocean mist. A hundred, a hundred plus years ago, the rootstock came over from Italy. The descendants, the rootstocks that's used for this are descendants from that original rootstock. Not to be compared with the seed artichoke, which fill in the gap. These grow for nine months during the winter. They grow very slowly. The flavor and the texture develops in the leaves, and also you get a bigger heart, a more robust flavor compared to the, the seeded artichoke. They really are, this time of year, you can't be beat. Next up, our final green item for St. Patrick's Day. This is the Salty Fingers from our friends over in Long Island at Coburg Crest. Think of it, if you like, as a sort of mild pouspié or sea bean. It's got a little salty crunchiness. It's great with any sea dish, decorated dish, or cook it with some scallops. But like I said, it's a lot, lot milder than your pouspié. And then right next to it, we got the Mag Melon from Del Monte. This particular melon is bricks in at 15. For those of you who don't know what that means, it means it's really, really sweet. Small seed cavity. Very thin peel, lots and lots of salmon colored, delicious flavored flesh. One more spring item coming down the road this time of year, which I always look forward to, is the raw green almond. You just break it apart, dip it in a little salt, pop it in your mouth, it's great to snack on. It's great as a little side dish to some nice fish. Also, out of Canada, it's warming up a little bit and their greenhouses are producing. These are the brown tomatoes, very similar to the brunetta and the Kamado. Nice, sweet, high fructose level, really quite tasty. Thanks for joining us once again at Baldor's News from the Farm. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody, and we hope to see you again next week. A wonderful spring item that's coming down the road, which I always look forward to this time of year, is the... <laughs> I look forward to it so much, I can't remember what it's called. Right in from California, we got the okie dokie artichoke.